Right, welcome ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so sadly, what I had predicted about the Peter Dinklage outrage uh, about Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs has come true. We are now seeing the other side of the argument, and it's fair, it's, it's fair to actually give representation to that argument, uh, even though I sort of did that in the video. Uh, but what I mean by coming true and the sort of predictions is that uh, Disney has essentially said, yeah, we, we, we're going to go a different route with the uh, Seven Dwarves. Now, I do think it's really important to note, you know, Peter Dinklage made a, a false statement anyway. Uh, the Dwarves never lived in a cave. They were incredibly hard working. They were miners. Nothing wrong with that. Good. Great profession. Sure. Hard day's labour. Um, and then they went and lived in a woodland lodge. In fact, it was a really nice woodland lodge. Uh, and then they were incredibly kind to let a stranger into their home who they then protected so yeah a bit odd his statements uh, yeah were misinformation uh, a false retelling of the narrative of Snow White and they never lived in a cave I don't know what Snow White you've been watching all right they worked in a cave mines but sure I'll give you that they worked in a cave and then they lived in a very nice woodland lodge. But what I was afraid of was that his comments would, you know, prove to Disney uh, that they need to change things up and obviously not hire uh, little people or dwarfs. Uh, I say little people because, again, I'm, I'm looking at an article and apparently that's, that's what they refer to themselves as. So try not to be offensive or PC or whatever, even though this would offend anyone who chooses to, but never mind. Uh, but this is the other side of the argument, basically. People have come out, actors in the uh, dwarf community, and gone, nope, not happy with you. So let's take a look at it, shall we, ladies and gents. Exclusive. Uh, Peter Dink, this is a quote. Peter Dinklage just puts seven of us out of job. Uh, job, yeah. Seven of us out, uh, out of a job. Dwarf actors Fury and Disney for cancelling seven dwarfs from Snow White Remake because the woke multi-millionaire Game of Thrones star said they were offensive. Uh, and, you know, sure. I mean, I agree. This is what I thought would happen. Dwarf actors Dylan uh, Postal, Postal, Jeff Brooks, and Katrina Kemp told Daily Mail, it was the wrong move for Disney to cancel the roles of the Seven Dwarfs in its Snow White remake. And it is wrong. What, because some idiot who has ridiculous sums of money doesn't want anyone else to, to rise up the ranks? I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, the movie studio said it was rethinking them after Peter Dinklage ca uh, called the story the, and the roles backwards. Uh, interestingly enough, though, Dinklage did make $1.2 million per episode of Game of Thrones. Uh, and he never he literally had no problem being called the imp in Game of Thrones. Had no issue there. Did you? Did you, did you Dinklage, mate? You had no problem being called the imp. And having loads and loads of jokes made about your size because that was the character's role. Because that cool $1.2 million was... That was fine. That that obviously nursed the sting. But because you've not been cast in Disney, I guess that's why. That's the only reason I can think of. Why is one okay and not the other? Well, one you're getting paid, the other you're just a spectator, yeah? That's what it sounds like. Um, so yeah, so a bunch of actors are calling him selfish for his comments on the Snow White movie. It is selfish. Uh, Postal was a leprechaun on WWE for 10 years uh, and was in The Muppets and said he's begging Disney for the role. Uh, Kemp was in Glow on Netflix and said the issue is far more complex than Disney is allowing it to be. Agreed, it is. Um, yeah, Jeff Brooks, 62, said he has never been offended by the story throughout his 20, uh, 30 year career as an actor. I mean, who, who's offended by this? They're really nice people. Like, I would, look, I agree that it, it could be deemed to be offensive if the if the uh, dwarfs um, were portrayed, like, if they were rapey or something like that, if they were, do you know what I mean? If they were, like, weird and creepy and, I don't know, like, made up to be incredibly ugly and, like, they had, like, diseases. I'd, I'd agree, like, that's, that's bad. But, I mean, all you're doing is putting, you know, uh, actors with dwarfism, uh, you know, in roles where they fit the characters. 
I don't see what's wrong with that. They're portrayed as nice people. Like, I, I could, again, I can understand it on some level, but not this. Like, they live in a bloody woodland lodge. It's, I'd love to live in that woodland lodge. It's bloody nice. So, anyway, dwarf actors have reacted furiously to Disney cancelling the Seven Dwarfs from its Snow White remake after Game of Thrones star Peter Dinklage called them offensive. Again, remember, he, he didn't mind Game of Thrones, though, because he was getting 1.2 million an episode. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> Peter Dinklage said that the decision, uh, the actors, sorry, um, said that the decision robs them of work and the chance to fulfil what, for some, is a dream role. Yeah, where they're portrayed, where you know people with dwarfism are portrayed as nice. In fact, they're basically the heroes of the story. They, yes, like there are other things, but you know they protect Snow White. They look after her. They give her a home. I mean, it's come on. Uh, speaking to Daily Mail. Uh, after Disney's decision to rethink the characters, multiple actors and agents said there are plenty who would have happily accepted the jobs that Dinklage, uh, a Golden Globe winner who was paid $1.2 million an episode for Game of Thrones. And the reason why it's important to keep pointing that out is because he was purposely made the butt of jokes for his size on Game of Thrones. But he didn't mind that because he was getting a lot of money. Now suddenly he's got a problem with it. It's just hypocrisy. It's rank hypocrisy. Uh, so the actors say that Dinklage is not the authority on what the community as a whole finds offensive and that in cancelling the roles, Disney has done far more damage to them than good. True. I mean, look, you know, there is no represent... Like, Peter Dinklage is not the spokesperson for the dwarfism community, right? He's just an actor. He's not the spokesperson. And then they've just cancelled it on a whim, basically. It's just ridiculous. Uh, some are now begging Disney to bring the parts back and uh, are begging for the chance to audition for them. So these are direct quotes. It makes me so sick to my stomach to think that there are seven roles for dwarfs that can't get normal acting roles or very few and far between roles. And now they are gone because of this guy. Peter Dinklage is the biggest dwarf actor probably of all time, but it doesn't make him King Dwarf. I mean, that's hilarious, but also great. Uh, Dylan Postal... Uh, who played Hornswoggle, the leprechaun, in WWE for 10 years and has also acted in The Muppets, told DailyMail.com. When he was cast as a little person role in Lord of the Rings or in Game of Thrones or in Elf or in Marvel, remember, um, you know, those checks cashed just fine. He had no issue then, but now he wants to be progressive. Come on, man. Yeah, perfect. Calling him out for rank hypocrisy. Um... It's, it is. I mean, it is. How can you argue with it? Uh, I don't know if Peter Dinklage is still acting or if he's done now, but I don't know. It's pretty selfish. People came before him. If it's his mindset that he wants to be the only one, then you've got to grow up, man. It's not helping our community. It's taking jobs away from our community that are very few and far between as it is. Perfect. Um, uh, and uh, this chat post... Uh, Dylan Postal uh, added, uh, basically, you know, latest victim of woke nation. Uh, we are in a society and a time of woke and progression, and I get that to an extent, but this is a fairy tale. Isn't it so refreshing just to see people with some, like, basic common bloody sense? Uh, this is a fairy tale about Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Dwarves are one of the focuses. They are literally in the title. <laughs> yeah, you just can't argue with it. When I grew up, all I wanted to do is to be professional, is to be a professional wrestler and work for WWE. When I was 19 years old, they were casting for a leprechaun, a person of my stature, to be on an air, to be an on-air talent. I could never in a million years have gotten a job with WWE as one of their main superstars. I'm not six foot. I'm not 250 pounds. But this role as the leprechaun was made for me. Exactly. You know, in 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 the the world where people are told, oh, you must fit this build to even be the actor. You know, to be the character. Like, you have to be gay to play gay characters and all this kind of crap. Like, why are you taking roles away from dwarves? I don't get it. Uh, for, tw for 10 years, I've got to live my absolute childhood dream as Hornswoggled the Leprechaun on WWE. If a dwarf just dreams of being an actor and in a Disney film, then this role is made for them. You're taking these roles of not just one, but seven little people away. Uh, because you feel like we have to be uh, progressive. It's so stupid, it's just dumb. You're doing worse for the community than better. Agreed. I mean, every, everyone can see this. Literally everyone can. But it's nice to see people in the community of, you know, uh, dwarf, dwarf, little people, 
uh, speaking up and saying it. So the story is now Snow White and the Seven Normal Sized Dudes. <laughs> it's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Also, they all each have their own individual characteristics. They look after Snow White. They're the heroes. This is a good thing. Exactly, as I said. And they live in a bloody woodland lodge. I'm jealous about their woodland lodge. It's super nice. Uh, to be in a remake of one of the biggest fairy tales, uh, biggest Disney stories of all time would be enormous. I know me and six other little people who would love this role. Disney, call me. This would be a dream role for me. I'm begging for one. Uh, Jeff Brooks is a 62-year-old actor who lives in Dallas. He's been working as a dwarf actor since 1979 uh, when he was cast as a winking Christmas elf in a holiday commercial for Josks. Uh, he played the yellow dinosaur on The Barney Show uh, on PBS from 94 to 2001. And he told DailyMail.com that Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs was not an offensive story and that he, like Postal, uh, would have jumped at the role. My first job was uh, Josh the Gnome. He was dressed very much like a garden gnome. Then various other things, mostly seasonal work. I play elves at Christmas, leprechauns at St. Patrick's Day, a variety of characters at Halloween. He said in the duration of his 30-year career, he has rarely been offered, offended by the roles he's been offered. And Snow White, he said, depicts dwarfs in a historically accurate way. Dwarfs uh, did work in the mines. Uh, they did jobs that were easy to complete by people who were small. And they worked in mines, uh, manufacturing. They built planes, cars, all kinds of things that involved a cramped space people with some just bloody basic common sense it seems uh dinklage claimed in his interview that the story perpetuates the story of the dwarfs living in caves which is inaccurate it is they never they, they live in a fucking house um which is just nonsense isn't it such nonsense uh dwarf is a medical term the condition i have is uh achondroplasia dwarfism that is a fact i'm a dwarf yeah Again, like even because even, that's what the thing people get offended by the term. It's like, what do you want to be called? God damn. Uh, and then again, Katrina Kemp, a female uh, dwarf actor, you know, based in LA, said that there would have been actors willing to accept the roles that Disney scrapped. She questioned whether or not Disney ever intended to cast dwarf actors in this movie if they planned to use CGI instead, which she said would have been even more damaging. Exactly. Uh, it's a missed opportunity to make a movie with seven little people where they actually have intended characters. There will have been people who gladly would have taken these roles. Are they people gunning for a SAG award? No. Peter has the privilege not to take the roles. The people who are freaking out about this uh, do not. Uh, going for Dinklage for this is like going to Kim Kardashian for law firm advice. He's on another level, another plane of success completely. Fucking that is hilarious. That is gold. Uh, there are other dwarfers and players who are just trying to use the inspiration that he has put out there. You can't fix it by saying, oh, we won't put any little people in at all. Very precisely. Uh, he is one guy out of millions of people with dwarfism. Exactly. He's not like, he's not the represent. He's not, he's not, again, as the other one put, he's not King Dwarf. You know, he's, he doesn't speak for everyone. Uh, they, are, they all wanted to be him. If he doesn't want the competition, then that's pretty selfish for him to deny other people the right to work. Making the dwarves and Snow White now normal-sized people is taking the cast of root, uh, the cast of roots and making them white. Uh, I do not agree with it. My guys and women who happen to suffer dwarfism have to use that what God gave them. You know, uh, shape what your mama gave you. Uh, again, like, do you know what I mean? It's just nonsense, isn't it? Let's be honest. So basically, doesn't look like we're getting. Doesn't look like you know. It just looks like he's taking roles from dwarfs, which is stupid. So what do you guys think? Let me know. Uh, down below in the comments if you're new here do hit subscribe please do share the video like the video hit that subscribe button turn the bell notifications on to all thanks so much ladies and gents follow me on twitter and instagram at mishreviews links down below take care